Hi, I'm Mark Yaxley. Welcome back to Inside the Vault. Today we're doing something that's never been done before in our industry. People often ask me which precious metal products they should own in their portfolio. So I've built a list of my top 10 recommended gold, silver, and platinum group products that I think you should own in your portfolio. Let's get started. Coming in at number 10 on the list is a one ounce Baird & Co. Rhodium Bar. The reason this product made the list is because it was the first of its kind on the market. Before, about five years ago, if you wanted to buy physical rhodium in the form of bullion, it simply wasn't possible. When I was with Kitco, we spent over a year researching and developing rhodium bars and coins, and we had to actually give up because it was so hard to mint and to work with this metal. It's not malleable like gold, for example. Finally, Baird & Co. did crack that code and was able to launch the world's first physical rhodium product available to the retail market. So hats off to them for being a trailblazer and that's why this product is on our list. Coming in at number nine is the 100 ounce Royal Canadian Mint Silver Bar. Now it's not much to look at, but with this product, it's all about function. Typically it's bought back at spot or near spot, which makes it more competitive than some of the other 100 ounce bars that it competes with in its class. You can never go wrong with the Royal Canadian Mint Silver products. And that's why this bar comes in at number nine. In the number eight spot is the one ounce US Mint Gold Buffalo Coin. I love this product. I actually wish it was higher on my list. It features two very iconic images of Americana culture. On one side, you have the head of a Native American brave, and on the other side, you have the US Bison. It's a four nines pure gold coin, so it competes with other four nine pure coins like the Royal Canadian Mint Maple Leaf. It's produced by the US Mint, so it's very reputable. It has excellent liquidity worldwide. The only drawback with this coin is it tends to be the most expensive one ounce gold coin to purchase. Its premium over the spot price is quite high and you might not recover all of that premium when it comes time to sell. That's the only reason I had to put it in at number eight. At number seven, we have the one ounce platinum Philharmonic coin produced by the Austrian Mint. Now the thing I love about this coin is not only the design featuring the Vienna Philharmonic, you have just such a beautiful reflection. Platinum is such a clear metal. When you see a lot of it laying out on the table, it just shines. So it really you know, brings out the best of the appearance in this coin. But the other thing that's very you know, attractive about owning the Philharmonic is that the premium over the spot price compared to other one ounce platinum coins is the most competitive in its class. I think that everyone should consider owning some platinum in their portfolio, and this coin is a very good option. Coming in at number six is the 10 ounce Pamp Suisse Lady Fortuna Gold Bar. This is the best looking gold bar on the market, bar none. It features Lady Fortuna, the goddess of fortune and good luck. And you'll notice she's actually wearing a blindfold, hence the term blind luck. But besides her good looks, the reason I like this bar is because you're buying it in a bulkier format, a 10 ounce bar versus let's say 10 one ounce bars, you're actually saving a little bit of money on your premium. Not to mention the Pam Suisse products are now available in their Veriscan packaging, which we talked about in season one, meaning you can download an app to your phone, scan the bar itself or the packaging, and it will verify that the product was actually produced by Pam Suisse in one of their facilities back in Switzerland. Coming in at number five, we have the one ounce silver US Eagle coin. It's the best selling one ounce coin in the world, preferred by US investors. It enjoys an excellent reputation, good liquidity. The problem with this coin, like its older brother, the one ounce gold eagle, is that it has a high premium over the spot price. And you may not be able to recover that premium when it comes time to sell the product, knocking it down a few spots on our top 10 list. At number four, we have the Kilo Royal Canadian Mint Gold Bar. I call it the perfect gold bar. It's got everything, low spread, excellent reputation, very portable concentration of wealth. The only reason this product isn't higher on the list is that you have to sell the whole thing when it comes time to liquidate. Or if you happen to find yourself in a smaller market, 
you might have a hard time finding a buyer for a kilo gold bar. Otherwise, excellent choice if you're investing in precious metals for the long term and trying to keep your spread down. At number three, we have the one ounce silver maple produced by the Royal Canadian Mint. It's the best in class one ounce silver product. It competes directly with the US Eagle, but it has an advantage because its premium is significantly lower. Also, you have the reputation, the liquidity, the brand name of the Royal Canadian Mint backing this product. The only thing that I hear negatively about this product is the fact that the Queen's mugshot is on the coin. Personally, it doesn't bother me at all, and it certainly doesn't affect the value or liquidity of the product. Sitting in the number two spot, we have the one ounce US Mint Gold Eagle. It's the number one selling coin in the world. This coin has it all. It has looks, reputation, liquidity, but there is a drawback. Firstly, the premium over spot is a little bit higher than some of the other gold coins that it competes with. And because it's not pure gold, it can be taxable in some jurisdictions. Those are the only reasons I could think of that drop this coin into the number two spot. And finally, coming in at number one on our top 10 precious metals countdown list is a one ounce gold Royal Canadian Mint Maple Leaf. This coin is top of its class in all of the categories that we ranked. It's four nines pure gold selling at a very competitive premium. From Toronto to Singapore, you will have no problem liquidating this product. One additional feature that I like about the Gold Maple Leaf is that it has anti-counterfeiting technology. Less chances than some of its competitors to be replicated. You can't go wrong with the one ounce Gold Maple Leaf in terms of price, in terms of liquidity, in terms of reputation, and it's a pretty good looking coin as well. And last but not least, I'd like to give an honorable mention to our friends down under at the Perth Mint in Australia. They produce these absolutely gorgeous one kilo silver coins. If you've never seen one of these things, I mean, they're just spectacular. The design, the relief, I mean, the thickness of these things, it's impressive to hold it in your hand. And they have these animal series that just blow your mind. They've become so popular in my house that my wife wants one every Christmas. And you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. So consider getting yourself one or someone you love, a kilo silver Perth Mint coin. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Mark Yaxley. If you have any more questions, feel free to email us at info at swpcayman.com. You can tweet us at swpgold or subscribe to our YouTube channel and enjoy more great episodes of Inside the Vault.